So, uh, Professor Badgett, thank you very much for um, talking to us today. Why would a same-sex couple want to get married and what are the benefits? Well, there are different kinds of benefits. Sometimes there are legal uh, benefits to getting married. Um, but primarily, uh, what we hear from couples is that they're looking for something else. They're looking for an expression of love and commitment to the person they're marrying. They want to do it in front of the people that they love, their friends and family members, so that, so that those people can help them create this new family, this new kind of relationship. And, um, and in many cases, they're looking to um, to give greater security to their children if they have them, or sometimes they're thinking they want to have kids, so that's why they get married. Are there psychological benefits? Yes, same-sex couples report feeling much more socially included. Uh, they feel more normal um, in the context of a society that now recognizes their right to marry. They sometimes report feeling a greater sense of commitment to their partners, to the person that they married, their new spouse. And, uh, and they think their kids have uh, psychological benefits as well in terms of feeling more secure. Does gay marriage mean the end of heterosexual marriage or the end of the family unit? Or does it devalue the institution of marriage? No, same-sex couples value the institution of marriage. That's why they want to get married and they're not trying to change it. They're they're saying this is the this is the institution we want to be a part of, and we certainly see heterosexual couples continuing to get married and to have babies, and uh, they the same demographic trends that exist before same-sex couples have the right to marry are the trends that we see after they have the right to marry. What do you say to those who hold strong religious views on the subject and say that gay marriage is against the will of God or against the holy order of things? Well, I would say talk to people with different opinions. There certainly are people with very deep religious beliefs who hold very different opinions about that. They see same-sex couples as being able to have relationships and commitments that are as worthy as those of different sex couples. And I know there's an increasing debate within communities of faith about whether or not same-sex couples should have the right to marry. Many more people of faith are now saying, yes, they should. Who apart from the religious right stands in opposition of gay marriage and how should we approach them? Well, there are uh, the public opinion polls would suggest one big factor that predicts whether or not people think same-sex couples should have the right to marry and that's age. So I think people who are who are older and maybe more invested in certain kinds of traditions appear to have a harder time than younger people in um, in seeing, you know, seeing the the worth of letting gay couples get married. I think that sometimes um, those people appear to change their minds when they are educated about uh, the fact that there's nothing bad that happens. Uh, sometimes they are more likely to see it as a good thing when someone that they know or someone that they love is also uh, somebody in a same-sex couple who wants to get married and they, they, they see why it's important for those people that they care about and that can change their minds. In your view, how does gay marriage benefit society as a whole? Increasing the security and well-being of families is something that, that increases uh, the well-being of society as a whole. It's, uh, we're talking about you know, potentially hundreds of thousands of same-sex couples, millions maybe around the world, who would like to get married. And if you improve their lives, you've actually improved the lives of society as a whole. But clearly, you know, there are benefits beyond that. I think uh, there are benefits to the, to the families of those individuals um, as they become more welcoming of new members in their families their benefits to their children, you know, their kind of ripple effects on outward into, into local communities, feeling more equal, the benefits of, of equality and valuing diversity are things that businesses care a lot about, for instance, and then, you know, the, you can even get down to the level of saying it'll be a benefit to, to the wedding industry as more same-sex couples have the right to marry and will be out there spending money getting married. What is the future of the gay marriage debate in the US and do you see gay marriage being introduced federally there? It's not very likely to be introduced federally there. We have a very strong tradition of leaving the definition of marriage up to the states. The federal government has stepped in a few times to say that uh, restrictions that states have enacted have, um, have 
gone against certain constitutional principles around equal treatment, equal protection of the law. That was why our, our, our federal Supreme Court struck down bans on interracial marriage that some states still had. Um, so, but for the most part, uh, other than that kind of overarching uh, um, uh, adjudication of whether or not uh, um, we're violating some rights by not letting same-sex couples marry. Um, they're going to leave it up to the states. And we know that um, the states will continue to grapple with this issue. Seven states have are now letting same-sex couples get married. Two more have passed it just in the last couple of weeks. Um, and that will go to the voters in those states most likely to uh, reaffirm. There's a third state, Maine, which is taking it back to the ballot to see if, uh, if that state will uh, reenact the right to marry that was taken away in a ballot initiative. It gets very complicated in the U.S., obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so it's still a very active discussion in many other states as well. Um, so we see some states inching forward, maybe by creating domestic partnerships or civil unions. But I think overall, uh, the, the efforts to change things won't end until people have the right to marry in every state. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I think uh, Australia is seeing some of the same debates uh, that we, we've seen in the States and we'll continue to see, and I hope that we can you know, stay in conversation about, uh, about what's happening. Thank you very much, Professor Badgett. Thank you.